The first exercise of Sukshma Yayam is uh, called Prartana, the prayer. To stand uh, straight with the feet together, the body upright, the hands together in front of your chest. This is called Anjali Mudra, the gesture of greeting. Close your eyes. Keep the hands uh, pressed slightly to the sternum, to the breastbone, and concentrate yourself. Katkam chakra kadeshu chapa parigon chulam bushundim shira shankam samdatatim karair trinayanam sarvanga bushavritam nilash madhutim asyapadada shakam seve mahakalikam yamastaut swapite haro kamalajo hantum madum kaitabam Stand straight, inhale very deeply, hold the breath and then contract the anal sphincter as much as you can. Now place the left foot in front of the right, both feet on a line, knees are straight, body straight and we inhale one more time and do Mula Bandha by contracting the anus. Then change the position of the feet, put the right foot in front of the left, both feet on one line, the body upright again, we inhale one more time and do Mula Bandha. We will do a uh, Udhyana Bandha first. Exhale very deeply, pull the abdominal wall back and up as much as you can.
Let's do it one more time. I inhale very deeply, hold the breath, then push the abdominal wall forward as strongly as possible, then exhale very deeply, pull back and up. We repeat Achagari one more time, inhale very deeply, inflate, exhale very deeply and pull up. Concentrate on the throat, pull the chin back to the level of the chest bone to contract the throat. Then concentrating on the center of your throat, inhale and then start exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, moving the abdominal wall back, forward, back, forward like a bellows. We inhale, concentrating on the throat and do 16 times Pastrika. Concentrate on this spot, keep the eyes open, the mouth closed, closed, tilt the head back as much as you can. Then we inhale again and do 16 times Pastrika. Then in between, just stand straight, inhale very deeply and do Mula Bandha by contracting the anus. Chagari, inhale, inflate abdomen, exhale, pull up.
then Bastrika again. Stand straight, the head in normal position, then concentrate your eyes on the ground in front of you, about one and a half meters from the feet. Concentrate your eyes, don't move your eyes. This is called Trataka, concentration of the eyes. Then try to concentrate your mind on top of your head, the fontanelle, as it is called. The Brahmarandra in yoga, opening of Brahma, a very sensitive and important spot along the spine. We inhale very deeply and do 16 times Pastrika again, concentrating the eyes on the ground and the mind on the fontanelle. You close your eyes, your mouth, you tilt your head forward, pressing the chin to the chest bone, Chalandara Bandha, the, neck, the throat lock, and then you concentrate on the back of your neck, right on the place where the spine enters the skull. Try to concentrate on this spot and inhale again. We do 16 times Pastrika. Yeah, Bastrika always with full power, of course. It's a forceful breathing. In Hatha Yoga, many, most things are with force. It's not uh, relaxed. You always try to achieve the biggest, uh, the biggest effort, to make the biggest effort. <coughs> we stand straight again with eyes open. Inhale very deeply and do Mula Bandha. And a chakra again, inhale, inflate, exhale, pull up. We do a pose in between, it's called Virasana, the hero's pose. You step forward with the left foot and put the right knee on the ground, the right foot is straight on the ground, placed flat on, placed flat on the ground. Then you close the fists with the thumbs inside. This is a mudra, it's called Sambodini mudra, the retention of power. You hold the, the thumbs tightly, press the right fist on the navel, 
stretch the left arm forward concentrate your eyes straight forward as if you would aim on a target holding a bow in your hand now straighten the right leg and slowly slowly push your trunk back as far as you can keep the eyes open without moving them Then change position of the legs, the right foot forward, left knee on the ground, the left fist pressed to the navel, right arm straight forward and again concentrate your eyes straight forward without blinking, straighten the left leg and push your trunk back. During poses, always breathing by nose as easily and nicely as possible. Then we stand up again, open the hands. We do another exercise for throat and head. It's uh, called Kapala Shakti Vikasaka. You put the thumbs at the side of your nose, the fingertips together, stand straight, eyes open, then you form a cross peak with your lips, you point the lips forward like, a, like the beak of a bird and inhaling deeply to the lips, this is called Kaki Mudra. The crow seal. You, op uh, you inhale through the lips, you hold the breath, you close the nostrils with the thumbs, you close your eyes, then you inflate your cheeks as strongly as you can, holding the cheeks inflated, you bend forward down, press the chin to the chest bone, stay like this for a moment, then Come up again, open your eyes, open the nose, inhale gently by nose, close the nose again, inhale again with Kaki Mudra, inflate the cheeks, close the eyes and go down. We do this exercise three times. And straight again with eyes open, the trunk relaxed, 
In Heiligen Deeply by Now sind du Achagari. We do Achagari again, but uh, use Kaki Mudra, the crow beak, uh, for inhaling. Point the lips, inhale with the Kaki Mudra, and perform Achagari again. Exhalation normally by nose. Yeah, let the body breathe when you do this exercise. Inhale deeply, strongly. Exhale deeply, strongly. <coughs> we do another exercise for the neck. Stand straight. Inhale very deeply. Hold the breath. This is called Kumbhaka, the retention of breath. Hold the breath, then move the head quickly 10 times back, forward, back, forward, back, forward with a quick and jerky movement. again by nose and to Achagari. And again, standing straight, keeping the shoulders straight. We inhale again, hold the breath, and move the head quickly 10 times left, right, left, right, left, right. again by nose and to Achagari.
Then inhale with Kaki Mudra again. Do a Chakari one more time. Keep the shoulders completely straight, the arms at the side. Keep the eyes wide open, the mouth closed. Do the exercise very slowly. We inhale very deeply, do Kumbhaka, we hold the breath and then move the head slowly to the left shoulder, back as far as we can, to the right shoulder, forward and up, then exhale again. The same in the opposite direction, inhale again and move to the right shoulder. very slowly then inhale again by nose and do a chakari Another exercise for head, uh, to connect the head to the abdomen. You close the ears with the thumbs, you plug the thumbs inside the ears, you close the eyes with the index fingers, pressing the index fingers on the eyes. The middle fingers are placed at the side of the nostrils. The ring and small fingers, little fingers are placed around the mouth. And now first you just hold the eyes open, the nose already closed. You inhale again with Kaki Mudra to the lips, then hold the breath, close the eyes, close the nostrils, close the ears as strongly as possible. Close the mouth also with the help of the fingers and then inflate the cheeks again by inflate by uh, blowing them up and bend the head down to the chest bone. Remain like this for some time, then raise your head, open the eyes, open the nostrils and exhale slowly by nose. Inhale again with Kaki Mudra, close the eyes, the nostrils, blow up the cheeks and bend the head down. We do it three times.
This exercise is uh, very good for the sense organs, eyes, ears, the nose, increasing the power of these uh, important parts. <coughs> Stand straight, relax with eyes open, inhale again with Kaki Mudra and do Achagari. One more time. Then another exercise for throat and neck by pulling the edges of the mouth sideways down you can contract the platysma. Platysma is the throat muscle. You pull the mouth sideways down and try to contract this muscle as strongly as possible. Holding the throat like that, inhale and to 16 times Pastrika. Then stand straight and relaxed again, inhale deeply by nose and do Achagari. Then another exercise for the shoulders, clench the fist again, thumb inside Sambodini Mudra, stiffen the arms, contract the muscles of the arms, then inhale by Kaki Mudra, close your eyes, close your mouth, blow up the cheeks, bend the head down with blown up cheeks, and then move the shoulders heavily up and down quickly as long as you can then open your head open your uh, raise your head open your eyes and exhale slowly by nose
open the hands again, turn the hands back, keep the legs completely straight, the knees straight and stiff. We do an exercise for the chest, which is uh, increasing the capacity of the lungs and uh, very beneficial for the heart. Do this exercise uh, very slowly. It has a strong impact on the vagus nerve and will slow down the heartbeat for a short moment quite strongly and this has an effect on you, so do it slowly. We turn the hands back, stiffen the arms, stiffen the legs, then inhale deeply by nose, raise our arms, hold our breath and then try to go back, stretching the arms back, tilting the head back, stretching the chest as much as we can. Stay like this for some time, then exhale and come back. One more time. Then the same exercise in a different way, same effects of course, very good for the chest, for the heart. Turn the hands uh, back to the normal position, stiffen the arms again, keep the, the knees straight and inhale again, hold the breath, then tilt the head and the trunk back as far as you can and when you cannot go back more start to raise the arms in your back as strongly as you can push them up as much as you can stay like this until you exhale and come back One more time. When you stand for a long time, the knees become more sensitive, uh, so sometimes it's good to include any practice to relax the knees a little bit. We do a very simple exercise, which is very good for the knees. You stand on the left foot, you take the right foot with both hands, pull the heel up to the buttock and then place the inside of the knees together as nicely as possible, stand straight and in this position we inhale very deeply and do Mula Bandha.
and on the other side take the left foot with both hands pull the heel tightly to the left buttock put the inside of the knees together stand straight again inhale again and mula banda This exercise is not only good for the knees, it's also very good for the chest. You can even try to stretch the chest with the help of the arms as much as you can. The more flexible the chest will become, the better for you, of course, because there will be more oxygen in the lungs and the heart and all these parts which consume a lot of oxygen will work better. Stand straight again, we inhale one more time with Kaki Mudra and two Achakari. We use Ujjayi Kumbhaka, you inhale by nose and try to produce a moaning sound in the back of your nasal cavity and then inflate the abdominal wall, exhale silently by nose and pull up. Uh. Now we start to do some exercise for the arms and hands, fingers, shoulders, uh, elbows. We clench the fist again, thumbs inside, turn the fist forward, stiffen the arms a little bit. The exercise is for the elbows. We inhale very deeply, hold the breath and then move the forearms quickly 10 times heavily up and down. <laughs> Inhale again with Ujjayi and do Achagari. Open the hands, 
stretch the fingers, keep them tightly together, tighten the muscles of the arms to the fingertips. And we inhale again, hold the breath and move the forearms 10 times up and down. Then turn the hands back in the normal position. We inhale again by nose and do a chagari. Clench the fist again. Keep the arms in the right angle, the elbows at the side. This exercise is for the upper arms, for biceps and the muscles of the upper arm. We inhale, hold the breath and push the arms heavily 10 times forward. The fist closed, we inhale again, we do chai and do a chagari. Put the arms straight forward. We inhale again, hold the breath and move the fist five times up as much as we can, down as much as you can, up again, down again, five times. and do a chagari. Raise the arms with clenched fists again, elbows on shoulder level. We inhale again, do kumbaka, hold the breath and move the fist five times slowly down, up, down, up as strongly as possible.
open the fist in heil again by nose and do a chakari. Put your arms straight forward again, the hands and fingers straight. We inhale again, do Kumbhaka and move the hands five times up and down and up and down. Fold your arms, the fingers straight, the elbows on shoulder level. Inhale again and do the same movements down, up, down, up five times. and do a chakari. Then inhale with Kaki Mudra and do a Chagari again. Put your arms straight forward again, spread the fingers as much as you can, the arms from fingertips to shoulders quite uh, tight. We inhale again, do Kumbhaka and move the hands five times up and down. Then inhale with Ujjayi and do a Chagari again.
keep the arms completely straight at your side. We inhale again, do Kumbhaka, and then move the left arm ten times up and down without touching the ear or the thigh, just silently in this uh, radius, up and down ten times. Inhale again by nose and to a chagari. Stiffen the arms again, inhale very deeply and move the right arm in the same way ten times. And Achagari again. Stiffen the arms again, inhale very deeply and move both arms ten times up and down. Inhale with Kaki Mudra again, do a Chagari. Again, as an exercise for the knees to relax them a little bit, improve the energy in the legs, we put the right hand on the right tip, the thumb in front, the fingers in the back. The pose is called Hasta Padangustasana, the hand toe pose. You raise the right foot now, right hand in the hip, thumb in front, fingers in the back, the right foot raised. The left hand is taking hold on the right big toe and then you put the right leg completely straight forward and remain like this for a, for a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Then we do the same on the other side. You put the left hand in the hip, thumb in front, fingers in the back. You raise the left foot from the ground. You hold the big toe with the right hand. And again, put the left leg completely straight forward. The trunk upright, upright. Asta Padangustasana, very good for the legs, it improves the power of the veins in the legs, can prevent uh, varicosis and has a very beneficial effect on the hips, bottom, on the lower part of the spine. Yeah, in, in yoga I said that without energy in the body you cannot expect a good health to grow. So all we do is about energy. We try to set the energy in motion by moving the prana and the oxygen as, as strongly inside of our body. Mostly of course with the help of the blood which is transporting oxygen to all parts. We inhale again with Uchai and do a Chagari. Now standing completely straight with shoulders straight, we do an exercise to activate the vagus nerve in neck and throat. Keep the eyes open, the mouth closed. Do this exercise, even though it's very easy, do it carefully, slowly and always of course concentrate on the feet. We stand straight, inhale very deeply, hold the breath and move the head back as far as we can, creating pressure in the neck as much as we can. Stand like this until you exhale and relax. Clench your fist again. We do exercises for the arms again, which are beneficial for chest and abdomen. Also, we keep the fist tightly closed. We stiffen the arms again. Take care that you have enough space around you, that you will not hit the wall or any people who are around you or any object. Stiffen the arms, stand straight, then we inhale, do Kumbhaka, we hold the breath and move the left arm ten times in a big circle from front to back and then <laughs> exhaling sharply, push the fist forward. Then inhale again and do a chakari.
Stiffen the arms again, inhale and do the same with the right arm, 10 times circling from front to back, pushing forward when you exhale very sharply. And a jaggery again. Stiffen the arms again, inhale very deeply, hold the breath and move both arms ten times from front to back and push them forward. Some of the best exercises for the heart we inhale again and do a chakari. Again, do Kumbhaka and move the right arm ten times from back to front in the opposite direction and push forward when you when you exhale. Then inhale again, do Kumbhaka and move the left arm in the same way 10 times from back to front. <laughs> then inhale again with Kaki Mudra and do Achagari. Now inhale again very deeply to Kumbhaka and move both arms ten times from back to front and push both fists forward. <laughs> Open your fist again, keep the arms relaxed. We inhale very deeply and do a chagari.
En hele gerne vil du tage i, og du har mor og takker i. Now clench the right fist with the thumb inside, hold the wrist of the right hand with the left, firmly, hold it firmly and then put both hands to the back, to the small of the back as it is called, the center of the spine. We do some exercises for the abdomen. <coughs> First, just stand straight like this, inhale very deeply. Pantu Mula Banda. Now bend forward in an angle of about 45 degrees, the trunk bent slightly forward, the head should be raised, the eyes gazing stri straight forward. Concentrate on the abdominal wall, then inhale and do 10 times Pastrika. Now bend down more in a right angle, 90 degrees, try to raise the head again, looking straight forward and we inhale again and do 10 times Pastrika. Then come up, inhale again and do a chakari. Close the left fist with thumb inside, hold the wrist of the left hand with the right and place the hands to the small of the back again. Always look steadily forward, then bend forward in a 45 degree angle again. <clears throat> in this pose now we exhale very deeply and without breathing, this is called Baya Kumbhaka. If you inhale and hold the breath, it's called Antar Kumbhaka, the inner retention of breath. If you exhale and 
stop the breath. It's called Bhaya Kumbhaka, the outside retention of breath. So we exhale, do Bhaya Kumbhaka, and then without breathing, just move the abdominal wall out and in and out and in as long as we can. And then inhale. Then we bend down more in a 90 degree angle. Again, push the head up, look straight forward. We exhale one more time completely and do the same movement with the abdominal wall. Open your hands, put the arms down. We inhale again with Kaki Mudra and Tuva Chakari. Raise the left hand, turned up, inhale again with Kaki Mudra and do a chakari. Raise the right hand and do the same. Now some exercise for the back, put the feet slightly apart, about shoulder wide. You clench the right fist with the thumb inside, you hold the wrist of the right hand with the left, you put both hands firmly to the small of the back, keeping the knee straight, then inhale very deeply, hold the breath, bend back tilting the head back as far as you can, then exhale very deeply, go forward, touch the left knee with your forehead, then inhale again, go back, exhale again, touch the right knee.
and change the fist, left fist clenched, hold the wrist with the right hand, both hands to the back again, and we do the same exercise, inhale very deeply, go back, go, then exhale, bend forward, touch the right knee first, inhale again, come up, exhale, touch the left knee. Open your hands, put them down. We inhale by nose, do five times Bastrika and Mula Bandha. Then inhale by nose again to Achagari. Stretch both arms forward. We inhale, hold the breath, turn trunk and arms to the left. The right hand is the right arm is folded, the hand touching the chest, the left arm is turned around, the head is always following the left hand as much as you can, then exhale, come forward, inhale again and do the same movement to the right, the right arm turned, the left hand bent, touching the chest, the eyes following the right hand and then come back. This is called Kati Chakrasana, very important pose to move the prana from left to right. Chakari again.
now in hell with Uchai one more time to Achagari. Raise both hands, turned up, inhale again with Kaki Mudra and do another Achagari. An exercise for the back, stand with the feet together, the body straight, then put both arms straight sideways, holding them as if they were a stick from the left hand to the right. Then we inhale, hold the breath, move sideways to the left, slowly as much as we can, then exhale after some time, inhale again and do the same movements to the right. Then inhale deeply by nose and do Achagari. Now separate the feet again, shoulder wide apart, the feet straight, the knees straight, body upright. Put your arms straight sideways. One more time. Turn the hands up. Keep keeping the arms stiff and straight. We inhale very deeply, hold the breath. Move sideways to the right first, then exhale, come up, inhale again and do the same movement to the left.
Now inhale with Ujjayi again, producing a sound in the back of the nose and do Achagari. And one more time. This exercise to awaken the Kundalini is easy. It's uh, done on a physical level. I will show it from the side, it's more easy. Before we do the exercise, you take the right foot up again with both hands, pull it up to the buttock, keep the inside of the knees nicely together and now inhale very deeply and pull the shoulders back with the help of your arms. side you pull the left foot up knees nicely together the body upright we inhale again and pull back now Separate the feet a little bit, about one hand wide, eight to ten centimeters feet apart. You have to concentrate your eyes on the feet when you do this exercise. The eyes always watching the feet and taking care that the feet are always placed on the same spot where they stand now. Then exercise very simple you just try to kick the buttocks with your heels uh, with left foot and right foot alternating the, the movement a few times Okay, stand straight again with the feet together, inhale very deeply and do Achagari.
in Heilwidu Chai again and Tua Chakari. <coughs> Put both hands in the hips, the thumbs in front, the fingers in the back. Then standing on the right foot, raise the left foot, the leg straight. Again, concentrate your eyes on the foot. We inhale very deeply, hold the breath and move the right foot in the ankle five times to the left. <laughs> then inhale again and do this rotating movement five times to the right. Then inhale again with Kaki Mudra and Tua Chagari. legs, put it straight forward, fix your eyes on the right foot, we inhale again, do Kumbhaka and rotate the right foot five times to the right. Inhale again and do it five times to the left. Kakimuta and Tua Chagari. and the chakari. Thank <laughs> you. 
put your arms down. <coughs> Keep the knees together and push them slightly forward, the trunk upright. The ankles and the knees should touch each other. First we inhale, do five times Bastika, inhale again and Mulapanta. Then same pose, the knees pushed forward, we inhale again by nose and do a chakari. Still in the same position, inhale very deeply, hold the breath, keep your eyes open and push your head back as much as you can. the knee straight. Raise your left hand and put it at the chest bone like a half greeting pose on Charlie Mudra. Inhale again by nose and do a chakari. Hand. Inhale again by nose and do a chakari. Put both hands together. <coughs> Pose Anjali Mudra, also called Prartasana, uh, which uh, mean, uh, means a praying pose or a pose of respect. We 
Inhale, do five times Pastrika, then inhale very deeply and do one more Acharakari. After each round of yoga, the most important is Shavasana, the corpse pose. This should always be done. So before you go back to your normal daily routine or back to work, lay down on the ground on your back and uh, assume this corpse pose and remain in this pose for a few minutes. The hands should be turned up, the legs together, the heels touching each other.